Hey guys, Maniac here with GamingSess.net doing yet another quick unboxing. This is Resistance 3 for the PlayStation 3. Uh, Resistance is probably my favorite of the PlayStation exclusive properties. This was made by Insomniac Games, who also made like the Ratchet and Clank series and a few other types of games. These game series are fantastic. I love them. I think I loved Resistance 1 more than I loved Resistance 2, but I still thought Resistance 2 was pretty good. And ironically enough, even though I have a copy of Resistance Retribution for the, play, uh, for the PlayStation Portable, I haven't actually played it yet. Um, so that's bad on me, I'm sure. Now, um, the thing about Resistance 3 that's kind of unfortunate, and the reason why I've held off doing an unboxing of it, is because there really wasn't much of an incentive to get it day and date. Um, there's no collect there was no real major collector's edition with this game. There was a move edition that was released I, I think that was considered to be the collector's edition But really all it came with was a PlayStation move sharpshooter, which you can buy separately all you want and Probably even cheaper than they were charging for the game bundled with this um, This game was 60 at release. I think probably right now you can find it for about 40 or so um it's for the PlayStation 3. It's um, Obviously, it's a continuation of the Resistance storyline without the uh, traditional main character that we've had from the previous games. Um, Nathan Hale is dead. And this game stars a whole new character. Um, don't know how I feel about that. Um, because I really did like Nathan Hale as a character. But what are you going to do? So this is it right here. Uh, it does support the PlayStation Move and 3D. Let's open it up right here. Really nice box. Really nice. Um, obviously, they're going for kind of like a um, old propaganda type posters and things like that. And I understand that. Um, really, really, really well, really nice. Uh, of course, this is the Blu-ray disc. This is the booklet. And... Um, on the back of the booklet are the codes uh, for the online uh, pass. That is, as far as I'm concerned, the, kind of another reason why I've held off buying this game. I do not like the online pass system at all. I think it's really a crock of shit. Um, the fact that they're including this, especially with services that are, are used, like um, Xbox Live as a pay service, the fact that they're actually going to, if you don't have these codes... That's a crock of shit. I mean, you're paying full price for a game. Put the whole fucking game on the disc. Don't have me having to jump through 50 hoops on, on getting all this stuff together just so I can play multiplayer, which is supposed to be in the game in the first place. Um, if you want to actually do something like it, but make people happy about it, include the codes for what the upcoming DLC is going to be. Other developers have done that. Re Remedy has done it. Heck, they did it with Dante's Inferno. It's a fine thing to do. We will love you much more for it. Or include download codes for like a downloadable skin or something like that. That's been done before as well. So, okay. Well, this was just a quick review, like I said, and a little 